said that I'm the plug And I ain't talking sucking For your love, run the race Cockpit, I drive Detour out of space Never been so high Here's the feeling last place But now I fly by Dior, on my way Pull the trigger, he's fried <clears throat> Is this going? Yeah, alright Just like I am Fourth time trying to do this Anyway, what's up y'all ladies and gentlemen I'm back and, uh, you know, this is something a little different, you know. This one is going to be what if Naruto was the Two-Tails Jinjiriki. Now, this one is going to be completely different from canon. Like, scratch that whole Naruto Uzumaki. In fact, Naruto is not even going to be a Uzumaki, alright? He's not going to be in the Leaf Village, or at least, not yet at least, but... This is not going to be set in the Leaf Village. It's actually going to be set in the Cloud, I think. Right, Kage, Cloud, UJ, Killer B. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so in this one, you know, uh, UJ has a, you know, has a kid. Because I'm going to age her up a bit. She has a kid. And that kid is Naruto. So, yeah. Naruto, you know, he still has blonde hair and blue eyes that's not really going to change because you know genetics you know other than besides karma i think like out of all the tail beasts the two tails is probably the most chill out of them all like the most likely to help their ginger kill so naruto doesn't really have to worry about uh you know the two tails being stingy about her chakra and stuff so you know you know she has a kid and uh let's just say that the strain of her having a kid is a bit too strong and the two tails chakra starts leaking out a bit and uh ujo she already knows she's not gonna really survive this so she just asked the two tails uh Hey, can you like be the ginger key for my son? And, you know the two tails. She's crying and stuff because you know Eugene was a very close friend to her, and she'll be happy to help out her son. And so, uh, yeah, the two tails goes into Naruto, and uh, Eugene dies. Rest in peace. So. Anyway, I'm going to time skip a bit later. Naruto, around the age of, let's say, around 11 to 12. And he's pretty, pretty strong at this point, you know. He's talked to the two tails, you know, they're on good terms. Naruto, being the son of Yujiro, he is pretty strong. You know, if he wasn't strong enough as it is, he got the two tails backing him up. And, you know, he got some pretty strong G2s that he can use on his own. So, it's the last day of graduation, you know, the whole teams and stuff. Uh, crap, I forgot. That's one part I need to add. I need to add some people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's think. Uh, who can I add to this story that will just fit for now? Let's add Pakura. Why not? Because I enjoy Pakura. And, uh, who else? This is going to be Naruto's team, by the way. The others, I couldn't give two fucks about. So, uh, who else do I want? It has to be a three man team for a Joni. Great. Um, uh, who do I want for the third one? Um,. Uh, this is not helpful at all. <laughs> Hold up. Just give me time to think a bit. Alright, I finally got some time to think. I'm going to add Samui to this team. So it's going to be Naruto, Samui, and, uh, Pakura. Fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the teams, and they're Johnny Leader. Or Johnny Captain is gonna be Killer B, cause I I enjoy Killer B. And uh yeah, you know Killer B knows that Naruto is the two tails and Jericho, and 
it's not really hard to figure out who he is. Because, one, his left eye is blue while his other eye is yellow. Kind of like the two tails, so, yeah. And, there's one thing I'm going to change about the two tails. I'm going to give it a chakra cloak like Karama. Just because I want to. That's literally it. Just because I want to. And, I feel like, just to make it a bit more fair, I'm going to give all the tail beasts their own chakra cloak for their Jinjuriki. Just because it'll be a bit more fun to do. And I feel like they should have did that in general in canon. Like, Gar with his chakra cloak. Uh, UJ with her chakra cloak. Fu with her chakra cloak. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, y you know what I mean. It just feels weird that only Naruto's or Karama gets a chakra cloak like no other Jinjuriki does. Does the Ten Tails have a chakra cloak? I don't think it does. It just got like that weird form of theirs. I know the Tentagon. You know, I'm still getting off track. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, you know, their teams. You know, Killer B, he's there. Because, you know, he doesn't. They don't really have to worry about being late like Akashi and stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, they head up to the roof. They're all body flicker because, you know, they some smart guineas. So, you know, they're at the roof, you know, same thing, same old, same old. Uh, Killer B says, what are y'all goals and dreams and stuff? And, you know, Naruto, uh, his goals is, uh, to be, it wouldn't be Hokage, it's to become the right Kage. And, you know, Killer B, you know, he looking at Naruto like, oh, okay, you want to take my, uh, brother's spot, huh? Okay. Well, I'll be there rooting for you, he says. And, uh, yeah, you know, all of them. I wouldn't know what Samui would want or what Pakura would want. But let's just say they both like Naruto. But I'm going to keep it right there. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say they do the bell test now because Killer B isn't really someone who likes waiting. So, yeah, they get to the bell test and stuff. And, uh... Killer B holds up two bells, and Samui says, but there are two bells. And Killer B's like, yeah. So that means one of y'all are going back to the academy. And, you know, uh, they're all like, wait, what? We just graduated. And he's like, yeah, but, like, this is just a test to see if y'all really worth it. Killer B says as he gets into a fighting stance, Naruto, he pulls out his, uh, his sword that he has. Pakura, she gets her orbs going. Samui, I don't even know what the, what the hell she does. Uh, I'll just say she gets into a fighting stance too. And Killaby's like, huh, so you're going to take me head on. Okay. He says as he gets into a fighting stance as he holds out two katanas. And so, yeah, you know, they're all going to a they all take turns taking their own, getting their own good shots in. You know, Pakura, she gets her own good shots in. She got a nice burnt mark on a Killer B. You know, some she getting some couple good hits before she gets a pushback. And, you know, Naruto, he already knows. Just off his base power alone, he's not going to beat Killer B. And the fact that even if he does... He still got the eight tails, so that's not really helpful. So Naruto off off rip goes. He can control up to the. Wait, what am I saying? He he can do both two tails. <laughs> so he activates his not a chakra mode, but just you know the the. I guess blue aura around him, blue flaming aura. And this just makes all of his fire jutsus blue and stuff. So, yeah, you know, Naruto, he's pretty strong. Him and Killer B get into a fight. And Killer B activates the, his one tail mode. Because, you know, he got like eight, eight of them. But he only activates one. Just to see, just to keep a bit on pair with Naruto. Since Naruto's pretty much going all out. 
So him and Naruto are going all out. Naruto, he's pretty much getting some good hits in on Killer B. And Killer B is holding back quite a lot. So him and Naruto, they're going back and forth. And uh, Samui and Pakura, they're watching him. They're like, God damn, he so just the power of two Jinjurikis. You know, they're just watching. And Naruto's just like, well, I could use a little help here. As, you know, they break out from their thoughts. And, you know, Pakura, she uses her orbs again. And she makes, like, a giant fire orb. Because, you know, Pakura and her Scorch release. She makes, like, a giant fire orb that pretty much makes the whole forest. Well, she just pretty much caused the forest to be, like, a giant smoke screen. So, her and Killer B, they end up fighting a bit, you know, getting some sneak shots in. But that's not really helping since the a -tails can just tell Killer B where they at. And not only that, Killer B can just sense where they at too. So, yeah. But, yeah. They're still fighting and stuff. And, uh, so... They decide to do a combination attack. I'm gonna say uh Samu has very strong has a high infinity for a win. And so what happens is that uh Pakura I'll say she has a bit of explosion release. Just a bit of explosion release. So she creates her own little scorch ball and she causes it to explode near uh explode near Killer B's face, sending him back a bit, and some way she takes the pretty much the fire math of the explosion and turns into like a giant tornado with explosion aftermath everywhere. And so, yeah, the tornado is like a pinkish color spinning around really, really fast. And Naruto, he does. Well, this won't need really take hand signs. This is just the two tails. And this is basically a blue inferno. It's a advanced version of a fire style. Fire style blue inferno. Thanks to the two tails. And so the giant tornado that already has explosion power everywhere. Now has the power of the two tails flames inside of it. And so, yeah, after all that, the torna the fiery tornado comes down a bit. Killer B is pretty much burnt the fuck up. He's like, all right, you win. He says as he pass out. And they're like, yes, we did it as all three of them pass out. So, yeah, a couple of hours later, uh, Killer B, he wakes up. Naruto, he wakes up. And Killer B's like, damn. That was a pretty powerful move, kid. What, what, what was that? And Naruto's like, well, I don't really know. We just kind of combined it, our attacks together, you know? And Killer B's like, damn. I should probably, me, me and my brother, we kind of got something like that where we Combine our lightning jutsus together. Or the lightning lariat. And I'm just like, huh. You gotta show me that. Someday. And Killer B's like, yeah. But you have to talk to my brother about that first. Because you gotta get his permission to use it. And I'm just like, alright, alright. And you know, he looks down on the ground. Sees uh, Pakura and Samui on the ground still in context. Because, you know, they don't have Jinjurikis to kill them fast enough so they still unconscious uh killer b naruto carrying them both back to the toy hospital real quick and where they rest a bit for about a couple of days and so yeah they get called to the right kage's office and about their first mission and their first mission, or the right Kage says, well, their first mission is to pretty much uh, 
their pretty much job is to get the executioner's blade from Zabasa. That's pretty much their, their job. And so, yeah, you know, uh, this one thing I'm going to say, Minato Kushina did have a kid. They had a kid named, uh, uh, they had a daughter with red hair and blue eyes like Minato. And, uh, their daughter name is Mito. And she pretty much has the same personality as Naruto. And she has the both halves of Krama. So, yeah, that would be an interesting fight. But she has nowhere near as much as control over Krama, like how Naruto has over the two tails. So, yeah, that would be a very interesting fight. And the next one. So, I'm going to leave it right there. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. And so, you know, I'm on my road to 2K. Look, the road is pretty, pretty strong right now. We're at like, what, 1.30 or almost 1.40 some K. And so, yeah, with that being said, I'm out. Peace. We got something for them bitch niggas talking. Pull up on Freddy, put his shit in the coffin. 13 don't ride, man, that don't happen too often. Them bullets flew like they was sneezing and coughing. I don't say much, I like to squeeze when I'm talking. The zombies falling like the leaves when I saw them. I don't recall, I just blacked out when I saw them. Call out a fumble, I ain't dropped when I caught them. Chasing my nigga, I ride with me, be Freddy. Come to my dreams, he gon' die in my sleep. A price on his head and that shit was their cheap.